Hi, hello, hello. This date is known as the ultimate pie day because the first 10 digits line up with an observable time. March 14th, 2015 at 9.26.53 a.m. or p.m. But actually, all infinite digits are represented. Between 9.26.53 and 9.26.54, the rest of the digits will align at some point about halfway through the second. According to National Geographic, pi was first called pi in 1706 by William Jones because pi is the first letter in the Greek word for perimeter, parametros. Pi has been observed for thousands of years. The Babylonians approximated pi as 25 over 8, which is equal to 3.1250. And the ancient Egyptians approximated pi as 16 over 9 squared, equal to 3.1605. The Great Pyramid of Giza seems to approximate pi. Its height and the perimeter of the base have the same relationship as the radius and perimeter of a circle. This may be a coincidence, even though we know ancient Egypt had knowledge of pi. Archimedes of Syracuse, no, not that one, is the first known person to record an algorithm for determining pi, a geometrical approach using circumscribed and inscribed polygons. Pi is transcendental, which is more intense than being irrational. It means that pi can never be expressed as the root of a polynomic equation. It goes on and on and on forever and ever, and unlike the irrational square root of 2, it is not the root of anything. Side note, this is why some mathematicians get annoyed about Pi Day. It cuts off at three digits and ignores everything that makes Pi cool. The best kind of pie after mathematical pie is apple pie. As of December 2013, Pi has been calculated to 12 trillion digits! That's a 12 with 12 zeros behind it! Among initiating other mathematical fallacies, the Indiana Pi Bill in 1897 attempted to approximate the value of pi as 3.2, instead of leaving it as infinite. There's a book written by Michael Keith, written in the language of pi. The book is 10,000 words long, and each word has an amount of letters equal to its corresponding digit of pi. The title, Not Awake, A Dream Embodying Pi. Here at the center, we have roughly 3.14 plants in the intern office. One is dying, sad smiley face. Albert Einstein, though a physicist and not a mathematician, was born on Pi Day in 1879. Bonkers has 3.14 pieces of jerky when he comes back from a walk. Just using the first 39 digits of pi is accurate enough to calculate the perimeter of the entire known universe. The error is no greater than the width of a hydrogen atom. In the Star Trek episode, Wolf in the Fold, Spock defeats an evil computer by commanding it to compute the last digit of pi, which is, of course, impossible. Live long and prosper. Happy Pi Day, everybody!